Come on, Mav. We're getting low on gas. Texaco, in field. One, one. Request rejoin. Hey, welcome back guys, 104th Maverick checking in with another video. This time we're going to take a quick look at the refuel technique plugging into the S3 Viking. I've seen on the forums and on social media that a lot of people are struggling with this one, so I thought I'd knock out a quick video to try and help them out. Now, the biggest issue with taking gas from the S3 is the forward visibility that we have from the Tomcat cockpit. Because the S3 is such a small aircraft, our canopy rails block out most of the visual reference points on the tanker aircraft. This obviously makes things a bit more difficult, as we sort of need to see the tanker to be able to safely connect to it. There is, however, a bit of a workaround to be able to still see the tanker, and we'll go through that now. Alright, so here we are saddled in the observation left position, which is where you should always start your refuels from. This gives you the opportunity to get some good trim work in and get the aircraft nice and stable before you move aft. As we move aft behind the tanker into the pre-contact position, you'll see that I dip my head down to keep visual with the tanker. And this is sort of the secret to success here. Unless you have x-ray vision, you're going to have to lower your eye position to keep visual contact with the tanker. Now you can do this two ways. The first way is by doing what you see me do here simply lowering my head position and because I'm using track IR this brings my viewpoint down in the cockpit and I can still see my visual reference points. If you're not using track IR or virtual reality you can use the keyboard to adjust your eye level by pressing right control plus right shift plus numpad 2. This will lower your viewpoint down. Pressing right control and right shift with numpad 8 will raise your viewpoint back up and simply pressing numpad 5 will recenter the viewpoint back to the default position. This way, despite the actual canopy rails, you can still keep visual contact on the tanker. Now when it comes to visual reference points, I use the same point on the S3 that we do on all the other tankers, the actual refuel pod underneath the tanker's wing. Now you'll see in this clip that as I get closer, this moves out of view for me, however because I've taken care of the trim and I'm moving forward in a controlled manner, it's easy for me to switch from looking at the pod below the tanker to looking at the hose at the top of my viewpoint as the pod becomes blocked. Now remember, we are not looking at the basket as we go forward. We want to be looking straight ahead and use our peripheral vision to line up the basket as we get closer. Alright, so as you see there, just before we made contact, the refuel pod disappears out of view. So as I said, what I do at that point is just move my point of focus down onto the hose rather than the refuel pod itself. Uh, fuel 14,000. Now that we are successfully connected, we want to switch our primary point of focus from looking straight ahead to looking at the tail of the tanker and we use our canopy rail to maintain the correct position. What I like to do is keep the canopy rail lined up with the bottom half of the tanker hook that you see in black and white. It's a fantastic visual cue to use to keep yourself in the correct position, so what we're aiming for is to keep the outside line of our canopy touching the bottom half of the tanker's hook as shown here. Okay, so there you go guys. It's a little bit more tricky than the fueling on the larger aircraft, but still very achievable with some practice. I hope these tips help you out if you're struggling. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to pop them in the comments section and I will get back to you when I can. Until next time, Top Gun and Volleyball.